Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we are in Newcrest and I am attempting something that I've never done before. Uh, we are building a base game only recreation center. So this is part of my Newcrest save file. And if you guys are not aware that I am completely building Newcrest from top to bottom and I am using only the base game, so if that is something that you are interested in seeing more of, then definitely subscribe to my channel and, you know, ring the notification bell. That would probably help too, because then, you know, you'd never miss an episode. So, um, yeah, definitely subscribe if you are interested in seeing some more base game only builds. Um, I am about four maybe five lots deep into my save file so hopefully it won't be too much longer before i'm able to share it with you guys and honestly i'm probably not gonna stop at newcrest um i'm probably gonna you know once i'm done with newcrest i'll share it with you guys and i'll probably continue working on doing the other two neighborhoods of base game and that is willow creek and oasis springs and that would be really fun so definitely something I'm thinking about but anyways let's talk a little bit about today's build so I'm sure um, my subscribers all know by now that I am NOT a community lot builder at all for the life of me I can't build a community lot okay it's there's just something about it that's just hard for me I'm not really quite sure why um, really it's like the exterior I don't know how to make it look I don't know like what to put on the inside and so you know what this weekend I was just really in the mood to build something and build something different and I ripped the band-aid off and I said I am going all in I'm gonna build a community lot but I'm not gonna build just any community lot I am going to do it for my save file so it's gonna be base game only and I want to do a big one <laughs> on the biggest lot in Newcrest. And that is like Twin Oracle Point. Yep, that's what it is. And um, this is like a 50 by 40 lot, guys. And so I was like trying to think of things to do and my fiance, you know, gave me the idea of using or making a recreation center. And I was like, you know what? I can totally make a rec center in The Sims. And uh, growing together, if you have the growing together pack, then you're actually able to set it as a rec center. But since this is base game only, do not worry guys. If you download this, or this is gonna be in my save file, but I'm also gonna have it and then I'm gonna put it on my gallery as well for download before I actually release my save file, if you wanna go ahead and use it. But um, if you have just the base game, then I am happy to say that if you set this to a park lot type, it works perfect. It works just as intended. And that really was a surprise to me. As I was building this, I was, you know, telling myself, you know what, I'm going through all of this work and it's not even going to work correctly. And I already figured if that was the case, then at least I got some practice in, you know. Um, but... To my surprise, as I was playtesting this, it worked 100% as intended using the park lot type. You can also set it as a pool and it will semi work, but all of your sims will just be like, all of the townies will just be swimming in the pool, okay? They won't actually go inside the building and do the activities in the building. Um, but if you set it as a park, then they will use the pool, they'll use all of the outside stuff, they'll use also all of the activities on the inside too. So that was really surprising to me. Um, but I was really happy about it, obviously, you know, going through all this work. And um, I was a little bit inspired by the rec center that was in the Growing Together pack because let's, let me be honest, guys, I... I suck at community lots, so I needed some sort of like idea and inspiration to go off of. And so I, I went off of that rec center, you know? But it's not exactly the same whatsoever. Um, it's just like kind of inspired by, you know? But um, this rec center, guys, is filled with activities. And that is exactly what I wanted to be able to do. Um, and I 
was surprised that using only the base game, I was actually able to fill it up as well as I did. Um, so the outside, as you can see, is pretty much getting put together. Those two trees in the front, you know, I kind of like them, but I went away with that idea. I took those trees out in the front because I almost thought about wrapping either a fence or like a bunch of bushes around the whole lot, but I do that so much. I wanted it to be like nice and open, like a rec center would be, you know? And so it is nice and open. And I did something interesting with the sidewalks. <laughs> um, there was so much space that I needed to fill it up. And so I, I used the sidewalks, you know? And um, I, I'm so mad at myself because at the very end of the build, when I was play testing and taking screenshots and stuff, I thought, you know, somewhere in the front needed a little bit more something, you know, that front corner, not where the tree is, but kind of like right off of like the shrubs and the front left corner of the building. That whole area right there is kind of blank. And so for the whole build, it's it pretty much stays that way. Um, when I was off camera, I had the idea of doing like a sidewalk. And so there is an extra sidewalk there that's kind of like diagonal and it adds an extra like something that makes it just look better. And I put a tree there, kind of like how it is now, that tree right there. There is gonna be a tree there in the end, but I take that tree away um, for, I think most of the build. Um, I know for a fact, I don't put the diagonal until afterwards. So I'm a little bit upset about that, that you guys can't see that during the build, but it is in the screenshots and it was in the thumbnail too. And it's in the final build. So it, you know, it was definitely needed. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> and I really wanted to do like a little sandbox sort of thing. I know that there is a jungle jam right off of this property um, in Newcrest, like the actual neighborhood. But the rec center, you have to have a jungle jam. And uh, I wanted to make sure I have all the requirements that a rec center needed, just in case you have the Growing Together pack. And when you download this, you might want to set it as a rec center, you know? But um, yeah, so I made sure it had all the re requirements for the rec center and all requirements for the park. And it has all requirements for a pool as well. Pretty much a lot of the different venue types could technically, you know, this could work with, but it works best with park or rec center. So just keep that in mind. But um, yeah, so we're kind of in the inside now. I'm gonna be switching back and forth between the inside and the outside because I just, you know, I'm not so quick at community lots like I am residential lots it really takes a lot of planning for me to do a community lot but like I said I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to doing more community lots in the future I really hope you guys enjoy this build um I spent you know some time on it this weekend <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you enjoy playing with it as well I tried to make it as play friendly as possible and so in the front room there's like when you first enter the building it's just a room there you know and then when you go off to the right I put like a kitchen and a bunch of dining tables and chairs so that's kind of like a cafeteria I was thinking and um, your sims could also come and practice their culinary skills as well and then I also put like a gym and I also put a computer room and right here I am getting a little nursery sort of thing together. I wasn't able to fit as many cribs as I wanted to. I was only able to put in two toddler beds and one crib. I figured, you know, you're saying the townies in the world are not gonna be putting their kids in here to sleep. It's pretty much just gonna be your sins, so. Uh, I figured two toddler beds and an infant, like a crib, is more than enough, you know, that, you know, you're only going to be the only one using it. <laughs> and um, off of that room where I put the beds, I put like a little, like, playroom for the infant and the toddlers. And also, 
in the same room where the beds are, I put like a little reading corner and I thought it turned out really cute. Um, I know you technically can't function, you know, correctly as a reading corner, but kinda, I guess you could, like if you brought your whole family here, <laughs> um, one of the parents or the grandparents could like read to the kids. So like you could make your own little reading corner. But I had in my mind that if this was like real life, then there would probably be like, um, like a teacher, like a pre-K teacher or something down in the nursery where the infants and toddlers are. And they probably like, almost like a daycare, they watch them all day long and probably teach them some stuff, read to them, you know, that was my idea when building this. I know it's technically not gonna function that way, but you know, we can pretend, can't we? <laughs> um, and I also was able to fit an art room and a music room and a little tiny room where the kids can go to f practice their skills and a little tiny room for like a little chess room, you know? I figured that's where the chess team would go, you know? And um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the community lot and how it turned out. And I, you know, didn't even have to practice on a community lot using all the packs before I built it using only the base game. So I was actually kind of proud of myself about that. Um, the base game is not so easy to build with because it takes so much to fill up an area, you know? And um, so I didn't, like I was saying earlier, I didn't know how well it was gonna turn out, but it turned out pretty good. And so this is the gym right there. I was kind of just trying to format everything. Right now, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to each room and I'm formatting what it's gonna be. You know, it, it takes planning to do community lots. At least for me, it does. And so I have to put like the items that I'm eventually going to put in the room. I have to put there before, you know, just planning my work. I literally have no idea how else I would be able to do this, honestly, because just leaving blank rooms, um, I don't know why my mind just gets confused. And so it, helps me so much just placing the items there that I'm eventually going to put there anyways. I just place them there first before I change any of the swatches and make it pretty and stuff. I just put the stuff in there because um, it's just so much easier. Like, okay, I know that's the art room. I don't have to keep second guessing myself, you know? And so that's what I did here a lot. And I went back and forth with what room I'm going to be having what equipment in. And I'll talk a little bit more about that once we go back inside. Right now, I just had to get away from the inside. <laughs> it was frustrating me a little bit at this point because, you know, I am such a perfectionist and this, you know, it might not be perfect. <laughs> it is like my first community lot. So it's pretty good for a first time. And it's definitely, you know, I'm pretty proud of it and it's good enough to put in my save file overall. So, um, but I am hoping with time and the more community lots that I build, you know, I get better and better. Just like I've done with my residential lots, that's exactly happened. Um, this weekend, I actually pulled up my gallery on The Sims 4 and I looked at the first ever house that I built. I mean, I don't know if it's the first house that I built ever, but it's the first house that I posted on the gallery. And wow, what a difference it has been since like the beginning of me building, you know? And I first started seriously building in like 2019. Before that, I just used the boring houses that came with the game. <laughs> and if I didn't do that, then I might've downloaded some off the gallery, but um, I didn't build my own. And I started doing that around like 2019, I guess. That's when I first started posting to the gallery anyways. And I pulled up that house and wow, it's, um, let's just say it was interesting. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't want to call it ugly, I guess, but it doesn't look as good as the builds I've been doing recently. Let's just put it that way. Um, and so it's pretty cool actually when you think about it 
posting to the gallery, you're kind of using that almost as like a time capsule because, you know, you're posting stuff and time's gonna go by and before you know it, it's gonna be five years later like it is right now. And um, it's fun looking back at your old builds that you may have forgot about, you know? So that's quite fun. I. I'm looking forward to doing that in another five years. <laughs> Hopefully I'm even better and I'm sure at that point The Sims 4 isn't even gonna be active. It's probably gonna be The Sims 5. Um, hopefully anyways, I'm quite excited for The Sims 5 to come out, but that's a whole different story. Um, so back to the build, as you guys can see, I made like a little back section and I did at a pool and I really wanted to make sure that I did that and like I was saying in the beginning of the video your sims do actually use the pool <laughs> which you know I'm just in awe of that because I thought it was going to be the complete opposite I thought nobody was going to use anything besides maybe the children using this play equipment out here you know and um also something else that I did um I made like a little community garden section is what my aim was for this area right here um the little blank area over there that is where i put the community garden and i thought it was a pretty cute idea so your sims can come here with some seeds and they can plant some vegetables and stuff um just in you know maybe your sims can't have a garden at their house for whatever reason maybe their yard isn't big enough for it so they will be able to come here and practice their gardening skill instead and um nothing really too special about the garden area uh, i just put the planted boxes and i wrap it around with the hedge fence thing um the fence that's shaped like a hedge <laughs> um i put that there so it turned out pretty cute in the end and so like i was saying guys i am jumping back and forth because i was just you know going through the catalog and I would see something and I would want to place it where I would eventually place it and right here I have the wood working benches I almost made that room like a woodworking table room but I realized I didn't have a place for like chess tables and stuff and I went around this whole build trying to find places for those chess tables and I could not find places that were good for it because down there in the computer room I wanted to put like the that game table I don't know using just the base game what can your sims actually do there um, that I didn't play test because I already knew that would be functional with the way that I put it and so I can't remember with just the base game is it cards or is it like can you play the don't wake the llama game um i can't i can't remember i know that when you have the packs you're able to like do puzzles and don't wake the llama and um some other things that i can't quite remember right now but you're able to do several different things oh and i think if you have the star wars pack that came with like a game that your sims could do but i don't usually use that game because I don't I don't know anything about Star Wars to be totally honest but um yeah anyways I am just placing like the flooring and the build you know doing what I do with the furniture placing the furniture I do the same thing with the flooring and the wallpaper because when everything's gray it just looks so kind of overwhelming to me it's like wow it's uh, nowhere near being done you know what I mean and so I get a little stressed out about it but once I put like the flooring and the wallpaper and it just makes it look that much more filled up at least it makes me feel better anyways and it doesn't feel as stressful and um I've never actually did one of these nurseries before with the playroom and stuff and I've always wanted to use that flooring that's right there and that's such a daycare flooring you know what I mean and so I was really happy when I was actually able to use it with this build and it was really fun and I'm looking forward to being able to use it again I'm actually in general I'm looking forward to doing another community lot and I do have some ideas for the other lots that I'm going to do in my new crest save file and i'm i'm really excited to get 
you know, started with doing those. And hopefully it won't be too long before I'm able to share it with you guys. I know I've started this series at this point. It's probably been a few weeks. And I really don't want it to be one of those series that just drags on. You know, I want it to get finished relatively quickly so that you guys can use it. And I can also use it. I'm also looking forward to using it myself in like some of my playthroughs. And um, yeah, you know, I just want to see what it looks like when it's all done. And I'm really excited for it. And uh, I hope you guys are too. <laughs> I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And so here's the little community garden area that I was talking about. And it's like I said, it's nothing too special. I just put some benches and then I put some like bushes into those planter pots. And so if you want to use the pots, you can remove those bushes if you want, but I figured it was a cute little touch to add there and it blend, it matched with the actual garden, you know? And I also put like, I think there's like eight planter boxes in there and then just some bushes and some flowers, you know, nothing special at all. I, you know, I didn't know what else to put in there. It's only the base game, you know, slim pickings. And um, I almost put a well in the front walkway, but it wasn't looking right. It didn't look as good as it just being a straight sidewalk, or at least I thought. Um, I really, it's such a modern build and I didn't think that well looked, or not well, um, the fountain. I didn't think the fountain looked that modern. I could have used the actual fountain tool, yes, but I, didn't want to <laughs> that's that's all there is to it and now I am just adjusting some of the landscaping out here so I love using these bushes that I have out here right now they're like my favorite bushes in the game but they're kind of hard to shape around a house you know or a building should I say um, so I went with these bushes instead and Yes, it was um, monotonous placing these bushes one after the other. I wish they came in like a couple different sizes that, um, you know, this small one and then maybe a two tile one and maybe like a four tile one. Um, that would be very helpful with these larger builds <laughs> because I love like outlining the exterior of like the fencing and the building and stuff with bushes and... It's very time consuming when you just place one tile after another, you know, so, um, but in the end, I think it turned out pretty cute with it. Um, it's very modern. Those bushes look very modern and very square, very well shaped. And so honestly, I think it's perfect for this recreation center. Um, it definitely looks very, very landscaped, very well put together and so the bushes they worked with this with this build they don't always work those bushes are kind of hard to make work but if you have like a pretty modern build or a very like clean cut looking build maybe like a mansion or in this case a rec center then it definitely fits it more you know and so now we're over into the little play area so i have sand in here almost like it's a little like sand um like a sandbox i couldn't remember the name of it but almost like a sandbox and i don't ever make use of this fencing that came in the base game update when the infants came in and so i made use of it here and i think it actually looks pretty cute around the sandbox and then I put um, a gate there too so that you can put your sims can walk in and out and I kind of figured it would be useful to have the gates there and then you could lock them and the infants or the toddlers wouldn't be able to escape that little area so it actually helps to corral the children in the game <laughs> maybe not the children but you know the infants and the toddlers sometimes you know they just walk anywhere they want to um, You'll put your toddler in like this room right here and then you go and do something else. And then when you come back to the toddler, that toddler is like way on the other side of the lot. <laughs> and so it's quite useful to be able to lock them in a certain room to corral them, you know. <laughs> so 
we are back inside and I am working on the daycare area now. Daycare slash preschool area. And I think it turned out really cute. So this is the reading circle that I was talking about earlier on this half of the room. And I also end up putting a wall in between the reading area and the sleeping area. I figured that makes more sense. Um, I put a wall and then I did not put a door. I ended up just putting an archway there and then I put curtains around it and it filled it up a little bit more and it made it look a little bit better. <laughs> and it honestly makes sense for it to be that way because when one of the kids are trying to take a nap, you know, they need some quiet time and some quiet space and if there's other Sams doing whatever in that same room then it makes it harder for them to take a nap and you don't really want them to wake up once you get them put down you know so having a wall there there's not a door but there is like curtains there I just feel like it makes more sense you know and it filled up the space and I really needed the space to be filled up it was a little bit too empty looking you know and um I think that reading circle area is probably my favorite part um, of the whole daycare unit. I think the playroom looks pretty cute too, but it didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned it to turn out. I didn't really like the way that I had everything organized, but it, it worked. <laughs> and so I just kept it the way that it stays. It doesn't stay how it is right now. I definitely go in there and do some more work to it, but, um, I thought I had higher hopes for it than what it turned out to be, but nonetheless, it still turned out cute. It just, I don't know, there's something about it. You guys will see here in just a minute because I'm getting it put together and it really doesn't take too long for me to put it together. And I did something kind of unique, I guess. I put the dollhouses one behind the other like that and I thought it broke up the room into two separate play areas. But what I didn't like is that I had to put the same thing on both sides of the room. So there's like four teddy bears, four uh, toy boxes, several different of the play blocks for the toddlers. And there's definitely plenty of stuff there for children to play with. But I don't know, it's kind of pretty samey on both sides. So I was a little disappointed with the way that it turned out. But it... It is what it is. It's, you know, base game only. So you have to do what you have to do. And I'd rather it be filled up with the same thing than just be blank. You know what I mean? And so, uh, yeah, uh, it definitely, it's not blank, but yeah. So I also didn't really know what to put on the walls on this part of the wall. I did not want to leave it blank because it looked so just not I hate blank walls okay I love when walls are just filled up with stuff especially in a kid's room or like if this is supposed to be like a little daycare or preschool it should be really filled up really cluttered really colorful you know and in the end I definitely did achieve the cluttered and the colorful aspects of it and um, there's the wall that I was talking about, by the way, and then I put curtains on both sides. So I figured like when it's nap time, figuratively speaking, they could like close the curtains. Um, too bad your Sims can't actually do that. That would be awesome. And so we are working on the bathrooms now. This is right outside the daycare, but not really in the daycare portion. It's right off the front door. So it's definitely the main part of the build still. And, um, I didn't have get to work, you know, it's base game only, so usually when I do community lot bathrooms, I will put like the paper towel dispenser and like the hand sanitizer thing in there, and with growing together, I wish I could have used growing together, but, you know, save file, so, um, I was only using base game, and so if I had growing together, I would have put a changing table in those bathrooms. I love the fact that that they added the changing tables. I wish they would have added them in the base game, but I understand why they didn't. I mean, they can't put everything in the base game, right? They have to save some things for the packs, and luckily, base game got the infant update, so I can't complain too much. 
Um, but now we finished the bathrooms pretty quickly. Uh, but now I am over into the cafeteria area and obviously your Sims, they could hire a cater, don't get me wrong. And then like there'd be someone cooking in here, but then your Sim would have to pay for it every time you came to the lot. So I kind of figured this would be more so used for, um, like if your Sims wanted to practice their cooking skills or maybe your Sims having a birthday party here or something like that. And um, that's pretty much what this cafeteria is going to be used for. I wish, like I was saying, we could have like designated a cook for this area. Then it would be able to be used as like a little cafeteria. But we have to use a little bit of pretending here since it is only the base game so you can either hire a caterer and just pretend that they're just the cook that's there <laughs> or you could just use it like i was saying for like birthday parties or get togethers or just for your sim to practice their cooking skill and if your sim sucks and they burn down the place at least it isn't your house right <laughs> it's just the community lot you don't have to like pay for it and um, over in this, like that wall that I just had, I placed those butterfly pictures. I think I end up moving that and putting something else there. Maybe not, I can't quite remember. I wish I would have had something else to put there. I don't love those pictures there, but it really didn't have many options. And so over by the trash can on the other side of the wall, um, on the other side of the room I put trash can and like a plate a plant and stuff and I also put like the aprons there and I put this bulletin board over it so the bulletin board is just a basic bulletin board and it's not functional but I kind of thought maybe that would be like a community bulletin board sort of thing like people could post like missing persons ads or like events there or something like that that was my idea when i was building it anyways and um this is the very front of the build this is when you first enter nothing fun here at all but i do want to make note that this entire build it shows these stairs as white but after I was done filming and I was play testing i realized i hated the white stairs with that like orangey tannish wood flooring and so i ended up finding a staircase that matched this flooring and so i placed that there instead instead of the white staircase and it looks so much better but i just hate when i make changes after i'm done filming and i and then you guys don't see it the same thing happened out front when i was explaining the whole sidewalk situation so there was a couple things i changed of the build but all I did was add to it. I didn't really take anything away. So everything you see does stay. I just made some additional like changes. And so this bathroom right here, um, there's like two bathrooms on the side of the, there's like a side entrance. I don't know if you guys seen that in the beginning of the build when I was doing the exterior. There's like a side entrance and it leads to the front as well, but just like to the side. <laughs> and, um, there's like two bathrooms there. One is a female bathroom, one's a male bathroom. And then that bigger bathroom with the showers is right off of the fitness center area. And so in order to like, I don't know, I just wanted to put showers. I want to say that was one of the requirements for the rec center. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but that might be one of the requirements. And that's probably why I ended up using it, but it also makes sense to have showers right off of the gym and then your Sam, if they're done working out and they're like super stinky, you know how Sims get <laughs> when um, you make them work out. And so there's a shower right there and we are moving to the fitness center now and that mirror with the radio in front of it, I kind of thought that would be the area where your Sims can actually dance. Um, you can work out using the radio. And then dancing is also a workout, so I'm not sure why they don't have it to where um, your Sam like gains fitness skill and loses weight while dancing because that is definitely a workout. You can lose quite a bit of weight by dancing, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I've never done it myself, but I've seen like, like Zumba classes and stuff, you know, people do it all the time. So I feel like that would have been like a good little addition for them to add 
that to like the dancing skill where you don't only improve your dancing skill but also the fitness skill just like in a, a little addition you know and also i don't know this might be the case do your sims lose weight while they dance probably not i want to say no but that should be a thing as well because you're like literally moving you know and so yeah this room right here is the game room and i really wanted to put enough computers that there's enough there that like all the sims on the lot would be able to use it you know so there's four computers and i also really wanted to use those game activity tables and like i was saying earlier i can't quite remember what games you're able to do there but they're in the base game so you're able to do something even if it's just cards you know but i wanted to place something in there that's like that's more games for your sims to do you know i wasn't able to place a gaming mat like i wanted to there wasn't enough room and i never thought i would have said that but this 50 by 40 lot actually really wasn't quite enough for what i needed it for i guess i i shouldn't blame the 50 by 40 lot it's more so i didn't make the building big enough <laughs> but i didn't want like a huge building you know i like having like a big lot and it has like a big grassy area like a big yard you know and a smaller building. I mean, there is nothing small about this building though. I do have to say that this is a pretty large building. Um, it, it took me some time off and on. It took me like probably like a day, <laughs> which really isn't that good, but it didn't take me too long, I guess. Once I got in and I started decorating, it just started coming to me, you know? And right here, by the way, I had no idea what to put in this area of the art room. And so I came across these clay balls and I was like, you know what, maybe I should make this almost like a classroom setting. So what I figured would happen in real life, like this, obviously you're not able to hire a teacher in the Sims, but in real life, I kind of thought it would make sense if I put like a table there and put some sculptures on top of the table upstairs in the art room. And then... I put like, like the sculptures in the center are like examples, you know, and that's what the teacher's done and the teacher's kind of explaining to the students how to make those objects, you know, so that was my intention. And so I'm kind of doing the same thing here in the music room. Um, you'll see me move this table several times, by the way, until I find the perfect place for it. Um, but I really wanted to do like a teaching area I didn't know what to put there though because this is a music room and so I can't put like a guitar on the seat or like the violin on the seat so I kind of figured you know uh, a major part of learning music is learning how to read like the sheet music I don't know how to do that but I I've seen people learn how to do that before and so I figured that's what this area would be this would be the teacher showing the students how to read the actual like script you know the music script i don't know what you call those but you guys know what i mean so yeah that was my intention there and i also wanted to make sure i put some guitars and i put some violins in here as well and i also put a piano and i want to say that is every single musical instrument that you can do in the game they do have a like a microphone in the game but you can't actually practice your singing skill on there using just the base game for some reason is singing skill not part of the base game that's that's making me think i don't think it is i wonder if you're able to click on your sim and practice singing that way because i don't know what pack it is it might be get famous where you can click on your sim and practice singing but you can also go to the microphone and practice singing there but for some reason it's not letting me do that in the base game when i was play testing it with the microphone you can only practice the comedy skill and that wasn't going to make sense for this room and so there's no microphone here <laughs> and i also put like a little bookshelf i didn't know what to put there honestly and so i put a bookshelf with some paintings and i also put a little goldfish bowl and then there's a radio in there as well and so, uh, also the violin, by the way, I put three adult violins and there's also two children violins. So the children will be able to practice the music in there as well. And I think children can also practice piano if I'm not mistaken, but 
not guitar. I'm pretty sure they can't do guitar. And here we are over into the little children's portion. I don't really know what to call this. It's the child's room, okay? This is where the children go and practice their creativity skills and their mental skills. And so I put four little activity tables and two of the mental tables. <laughs> the mental activity tables, I don't really, the experimental tables, that's what they're called, I think. So two experimental tables and four of the crafting tables and now we are over into the chess room so i really don't know what to call this room either but this is the room where they go and play chess and learn how to play chess and there's some bookshelves there nothing really too special about that room that i just did it is what it is and then i also right here i just put like a little lounge area and no, no activities, just like a little lounge area that people can sit. I just needed something to put there so it wasn't blank to be totally honest. And there's also two last bathrooms upstairs that I am working on now. Um, nothing too special here. I don't think I added any toddler toilets to the upstairs bathrooms. Only the downstairs bathrooms because there's nothing really upstairs for the toddlers to do. And so I didn't think it was really needed. And then out here, I just put, I almost put some sofas and I was like, you know what? Um, it didn't really look right. <laughs> and so I put two more telescopes and so there's three telescopes upstairs as well. And yeah, so this is pretty much it guys. We are nearing the screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this. I am going to be making more community lots in the future. So definitely subscribe if you have not already because if you've made it this far, then you've definitely enjoyed the video. And yeah, so with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same Way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and 